Seven. For me. Yes, sir. Get more lined up? Yes, I have um, three more. Three more as of now. So I'll go all the way to the 18th, a couple days for the draft. So. You've had a well documented story, but how do you feel like you're better prepared for the NBA this year than you were a year ago? I feel a lot better, man. You know, just the biggest thing with me um, was just playing for a year. That's the biggest thing. That's all I was missing. Uh, it's the biggest feedback I was getting when I see the improvements and stuff. And I just want to build that confidence back up. And I feel like I have. Um, and I feel a lot better about myself this time around um, from last year. So it's all about improvements for me. So, How much different was the Australian game than what you were accustomed to? End of the day, it's still basketball. You know, it's still the same sport. You know, same goal at the end of the day. But... Uh, of course, it's different. You know, guys are a lot older, um, you know, a lot more physical and stuff. So that's something I get used to, um, you know, on your team. And, you know, guys are just, you know, just not your same age. So just being the youngest guy on the team, trying to get, you know, acclimated to that situation and everything. And, uh, you know, the play over there is really good. The league is improving, you know, year by year. So uh, it it's definitely has a bright future. Did you what like Reggie Mike? Well, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even try. My, I didn't even try. <laughs> they tried to give me a try, but I couldn't. <laughs> Heard too many bad stories about it. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna mess with it. It's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep that. I'm on my eye with that one. <laughs> what was the, the support system in place for a, you know, a kid from America playing over there and in an adult world? What, what was the support system like for you? Uh, it was really good, man. Um, you know, the guys that, you know, over there, you know, Brad Newley is a guy that's, you know, has played, you know, tons of years over there, played my position. You know, Kevin Lish, uh, obviously Bogut um, and Jerome Randall, those guys were tremendous with, you know, me and uh, my situation and uh, as far as the media and everything and coming over there and just helping me improve. They know the goal that I have and uh, they try to help me every day, day by day to get better. So that was that was tremendous for me, for sure. What, uh, what do you feel? the areas of your game that grew over there? Uh, just the mentality, man. I feel like the mentality can uh, it change a lot. You know, I feel a lot more aggressive with everything and just a straightforward mindset. Um, and as far as just my game as a self, you know, I feel a lot stronger, you know, having to get stronger to play against those big guys over there and stuff. So uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with my ball handling, you know, a lot more, you know, consistent with my shot. So just my all around game man. It's just the little things I want to improve and just, you know, continue to do that. What would you feel like your role would be in, in, in the modern NBA? Do you see yourself as a, a perimeter type, a three-point shooter, three and D guy? What, what exactly do you think you'd fit? Uh, fit? Yeah, definitely a perimeter guy. Um, you know, whatever a team wants me to come in and do, is this, that's what I'm going to do. You know, whether it's three and D, whether it's, you know, uh, being able to handle the ball, whatever. Just I just want to improve day by day and do whatever it takes for my team to win. And uh, that was the mindset I had going over to Australia, you know, just playing on a team that, you know, I want to get, you know, the greatest amount of minutes, but I have to work for my minutes. And that's the reason why I picked the team going to Sydney. And it's, you know, more realistic to the NBA. So that was the biggest thing. As you've been through these workouts and talked to 